Hey guys, Jay here with Word of Advice TV. I have a few videos on my channel where I show you how to fix an air conditioner and I do talk about safety in those videos, disconnecting the power before you dig in and everything like that, but I don't think I quite stress that enough because electricity, especially this one, it has 240 volts, it can kill you if you're careless. So I made this video to solely talk about safety. When you take your air conditioner apart, the first thing you do is just pull the disconnect out, right, to make sure that there's no power. But, just so you know, sometimes these things are wired, it's 240 volts, so it's two hot legs, each hot leg 120 volts. Sometimes, if they're not wired correctly, or they're wired like from 70 years ago or something, one of these legs always has a steady hot. So you're always going to have 120 at your air conditioner, so when you pull the disconnect out, that only kills one of the legs, not both of them. I have also had a time where I pulled the disconnect out, and I didn't really look at it, just set it down. And I put my needle nose pliers on my capacitor and they were also touching the casing of the air conditioner. So when I touched one of the wires, my pliers actually got welded onto the casing. It wasn't too stiff, I could yank them off, but there was like a big scorch mark on them. So needless to say, I was very surprised. I thought the power was off. And when I took a closer look at my disconnect, one of these prongs actually broke off and stayed inside the slot. So even though I thought I had the power disconnected, it really wasn't. So what I wanna urge you to do is check with a voltage meter like this or with a voltage pen and confirm that you do not have any power to the unit before you start taking wires off because our body happens to be an excellent conduit for electricity. So whenever you're close to the wires that have power to them, they are just jumping at the opportunity to travel through your body, which is not very good for you. Now, if you don't have a meter or a voltage pen, you should get one. But if you're still stubborn, then please at least turn off your disconnect and then go inside at the circuit breaker and turn off the AC there too, just to be extra safe. And of course, having some rubber gloves will not hurt you either. Electricity does not prefer rubber, so those work well. Also, safety glasses can save your eyes someday. One time I was um, doing the little plunger test with the power on. And of course, in my videos, I tell you, be careful. Use an insulated uh, screwdriver or nut driver when you do this. But when you're doing this, you have this thing live. It's 240 volts. So I was pressing the plunger in and testing it. Of course, right now, nothing is gonna happen because I have my disconnect out. I was testing it and I got distracted by something. And as I was looking away, the screwdriver slipped down or the nut driver, I should say, slipped down and touched the metal part of this contactor right here, right where the contacts are. And electricity went into here. And next thing I know, some sparks flew out. And when I turned around, I don't know if you could see this little crater on my nut driver. A little piece of molten metal just came flying right past my safety glasses. So of course if that gets into your eye, that's really a bad day. But the moral of that story is just be very careful and mindful when you're doing this test because it is live and I mean the electricity had nowhere to go so it just took a piece out of my screwdriver. But if the handle wasn't insulated it would have traveled right into me and that could potentially be fatal. And I just want to briefly show you how to check voltages. If you have a voltage pen read your manual on it but most of them are pretty simple you turn the power on and it automatically detects if there's any power on any of the wires you just take it up to the wires right next to them and it should beep if you have voltage and i have no voltage anywhere because i have my disconnect out also with the meter and leads you set it to voltage you have zero volts right there and then follow your electric whip right here coming from your disconnect it comes right in to your unit and on that side where it comes in those two wires coming from the electric whip go into your contactor what you want to do is just put one lead on one screw and the other lead on the other screw and you should have zero volts if the unit is fully disconnected if you have 120 volts that means you still have power or 240 volts would be even worse so for example let's put this disconnect back in and show you what that would look like if you had voltage still. So now that I have the disconnect in, the power goes straight to the contactor. 
when you're around bare metal, be careful where you poke your fingers. I'm just moving these wires out of the way, but I'm being mindful not to touch anything metal. Then you put your two leads on the two same screws. And as you can see, I have 243 volts. So it is live right now. So once the con uh, once my thermostat calls for cooling, that little plunger will pull in and let the 240 volts go through to the compressor and the motor. And just a quick tidbit while we're here, if the thermostat is calling for cooling, the control board should be sending power to the contactor. And if you measure the contactor coil, which is usually on the side that's opposite to the 240 volts. So in my case, it'd be right here. And you can kind of see the coil that's connected to it on the bottom. You put your two leads on the two terminals. And if your thermostat's calling for cooling, you should have 24 volts there. Mine is off right now, so it's at zero volts. And then of course, with the power on, if I stick my voltage pen into here now, you can see the thing just going wild everywhere. Because there's live power just about at every wire which means that all these metal connectors, if you touch them, they will zap you. And also, if you have a meter like this, you can set it to voltage here too. And then if you press this NCV button, it also works as a voltage pen too, at the tip right here. So if I press and hold, I don't know if you can hear that on camera, it starts to buzz when there's voltage present. So with a meter like this, you don't even need leads to check if there's power. You can just press that button and it'll buzz for you. Another thing I use when I pull out disconnect fuses, or sometimes the fuses on the disconnect, you know, the disconnect box will be a little bigger or the plug will be smaller. And right below it, there will be a pair of fuses. Sometimes you gotta pull those out. If you have power going to it and you wanna pull those out, I definitely recommend using something like this, which is fully plastic or turn off the power everywhere and make sure there's no voltage present before you pull those fuses out. But anyways, these things are made exactly for those cartridge fuses. You grab that thing and yank it right out. Once again, it's made fully out of plastic. It's like five bucks. So maybe it's a good thing to add to your toolbox as well. Well guys, that is all I wanted to say about that. Once again, I just want to stress that if you're careless with electricity, it can kill you. And then you have a lot more problems than just not having a cool house. So when you're fixing your AC, please make sure that you are doing it safely, your power is off to it, or if you're doing something with the power on, be extra mindful and pay attention to what you're doing. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Fix your own AC, save a bunch of money, stay cool. Don't forget to mash that like button on your way out, and we'll see you next time.